welcome to Cocktails with Tian and Jays. I'm Turquoise with my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And boy, we have a lot to discuss with you all today. Our topics are, of course, Omarion's and Mario's verses. Um, a 16 year old teen was harassed by a group of white people just driving around in a, in a white neighborhood, going to his friend's house. Um, Caesar from Black Ink Crew gets fired from VH1, but they have good reason. And the death of Dante Perez Jones. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into it. So, the verse this past Thursday was between um, Omarion from B2K and Mario. So, a lot of people initially thought that Omarion was going to take the win because he's more popular in a sense. He came from B2K, he, you know, started in movies, but um, Mario took the win. I, voice. Yeah, and you could tell by his records though he he always had a, a really good voice, but with like all that auto tune yeah. and engineering, changing people vocals, Amarion mm-hmm. really don't sound that good live. <coughs> um, but initially, when they first came out, Mario dissed Amarion. Let's take a look at that clip. But I was a fan of the group, and I thought y'all was gonna do a reunion tonight. You ain't invite him, so. I invited him myself. Hey, yo, Biz, Fizz, Raz, Book, come out here. <laughs> I like that energy. Oh, I was trying to, you know, I was trying to be on your unbothered way, but nigga, you, okay. What's up, fella? Y'all all right? Hey, look, listen, I'm going to let y'all fix this little shit y'all got going on, though. Y'all crazy. Hold on, 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 You gonna do it? Hey man, let's do it. You gonna hey turn it up on the stage, son? Turn it up on the stage, son. We gonna get to it. Hey no, keep me in his ears. Keep me in his ears. Records, he gonna do though. Let's get to it. Y'all crazy. What y'all say? Do your shit. Is it Labor Day yet? Y'all some little bitty niggas. I like this dance you did. Oh, that shit was dope. That shit was top five. I like that energy you had too. Hold on, let me fix this. Let me fix this shit real quick. There we go. What's up, bro? I'm just saying, man. I was a fan of these again. All three of them niggas equal. One human yeah, being. Yeah, with my lady. So I guess, wait, wait, wait. Do you mind if he go yeah. first? You want me to go first one, flip y'all, the coin? Y'all watch out real quick. Who going first? Y'all watch out. Oh, watch out. Oh, wait a minute. That wasn't, that wasn't his turn? Oh, no, nah, nigga. I was just going off of your energy. We, hey, you um, know what? We got the... All right. And um, let's see what Omarion had to bring to the table with this watermelon. So, um, not to keep going back and forth with videos, but I do want to do another video of Mario singing. Give him the word. Said I don't want to confuse things, but I just can't keep lying when you're holding me. See, I can, oh baby, let me be your dream. See, I'm the And you don't have to cry Cause I can hear your Baby I can hear your And it's crying Can I have everybody sing one more time? Sing, say I can hear you Sing a louder so I can hear y'all. You listening? Ladies. Come on. What it say? Sing a louder. It's saying, somebody gotta save him. Saying I can. 
Somebody come and save him. Crying out. Say, girl, I can hear it. It's what? Hear it crying. It's what? For me, for me, for me, for me. Your hands and put them up. All right. So, thoughts, ladies. Oh my God. I love Mario's voice. That song here, uh, Crying Out for Me, that song, I love that song. I used to play it back to back. And unlike a lot of the other performers that night during the verses, he hit the note just like he originally mm -hmm. sung it. Watching, because I watched it live and it was very entertaining. First, I was irritated because the pre-show took forever with um ray j it was like four hours the whole thing the whole thing it? yeah probably a little over because I, I stopped early and i was in there for like four and a half Damn. but um the pre-show had ray j and bobby valentino versus sammy and um pledge p from pretty ricky and they were a hot mess like sammy sounded pretty good though he's got a good voice yeah but other than that it was a hot mess like it was really ghetto celebrities are human too though. but, it, <laughs> but was... it sounds like sammy and mario came in there kind of like with that debo energy that because they had the vocals to I back think it also up because they're underrated they're underrated and they have the va vocals to back mm -hmm. it up unlike some of and and i thought that's one thing that that versus proved is that like people that feel are so popular really it's not about their talent it's about it's how about they're promoted their gimmicks and, their stuff. Gimmicks and stuff because Sammy, Bobby Valentino sounded good though, um, uh, and Mario and Sammy sounded good. It seems like Auto Tune, like you said, uh, it has kind of ruined R and B, and that's why, like, you just don't get that good, like, soulful singing anymore. Like, the Mario has that. And you could, you could tell too, cause I was watching some reality show. I, for, I forgot the name of it, but the lady couldn't sing. It's like, oh, don't worry about it. Like, you know, they got all these ways to make it sound good. I'm just like, so are you never going to perform live? Yeah. Are you just going to lip sync? They're going to lip sync all their lives. <laughs> Mom, Have they actually some I thought moments. you was going to show Ray J. I am going to show oh. Ray J. You want to wait? Yeah. Okay. I just didn't want to do so many videos. Yeah. And then not speak. Back to back. Yeah. Because, yeah. So, this is just a little clip from the pre-show of Ray J singing. But he was turning up the whole night. He was jamming. <laughs> he reminded me of like my drunk uncle. Well, let's play the video of uh, Ray J singing. Superstar, wish to have a fancy car. Wish to have a million bucks. Let's go. Well, I wish you no being in love. So feel me, pretty baby. I make one wish and I wish it all on you. To my baby's born. To my baby's born. Or <laughs> I have I have been wa like watching that video over and over and over and over. Even Kiki Palmer uh, did a, a a TikTok video that said me asking my baby daddy how long he go stick around, and then it's Ray J in the back. To my baby's born. <laughs> It was hilarious. Like he he has gone viral with it. Ray J never lets me down. Oh, he, he go never, viral with everything. Yeah, he never lets me down. Like he is hilarious. But it's funny because he was so serious. Then he got mad because Bobby Valentino, Sammy, and um, uh, Pleasure P was in the little huddle singing One Wish way better than he he was. But it was just hilarious. I can't stop watching the clip. The way he was dancing, though, he was yeah. doing that little shuffle he dance. Was getting it all night. Oh my god! And, but the tension in the room was so thick. Like Sammy was throwing shots, Pleasure P was throwing shots. The only person that really didn't say anything kind of real negative was Bobby V. But 
There's a lot of hostility. It was like the most ghettoest one verses I've seen since Bone Thugs and Harmony were three six mafia. Mm. The best the best depiction I saw was uh the clip uh, from Martin with him and Joda C yeah. that that's the best depiction. <laughs> <laughs> him and Joe when he interrupted their performance, that's what the verses came off like. But it was it was entertaining, but you know, I, I I don't understand the hostility in in R and B. It's it's kind of weird. It's not like this is gangster rap or anything. It's like Ray who, J who can nobody remember? else hitting this? And but then somebody, hit but somebody also like threw their panties up while Omarion was performing. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of think that was stage. This man has so many gimmicks. It mm-hmm. might have been stage because I would threw my panties at Mario. Just I would have threw my panties at Mario, panties at Mario uh-huh. not him. Like he just had so many gimmicks. Who With the watermelon that? eating yeah. and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Did he ever sing? Yeah, he was singing, but uh, he, he sounded was, terrible. He was talking. He was rap singing. Mm-hmm. singing. Well, was, but, it, but I will say this in defense of Omarion. I never really thought he was known for being a good singer. I was always thought he was known for being a good dancer. Girl, he, Have you heard that song? Uh, ain't going on where uh, where where they should Chris be Brown and, and him um, and a woman. Janae, Janae oh, you talking about uh, uh, the he beat. sung on yeah, that? Yeah, pose the beat. That's a good song. Yeah, but yeah, but, 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 even, but listen, if you listen to it, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how he sings. Like any of us could do that. that. Is, I, uh, he's he's I, yeah, my heart or, or uh, uh, my, one of my favorites is touch. Doom, 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 man, and it's I, mainly I have dancing. Up there, man, I would have tore his songs up. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I feel like I would have did Omarion better than Omarion did. But and, but then again, he, he doesn't take a lot of vocal work because he was mainly known for being a dancer. Forget that. He was the lead singer of B2K. But he was mainly known for, like, he wasn't known, he, like, T-Boss. T-Boss is not known as a great singer. Cause She's monotone. She sung She's, all no, but the no, songs, no, no, no. So. But her voice is monotone, like Turkey just said. It like, may be, but she sung a lot of their songs. They say that Chili was the better singer. Chili was. And we all know Cause she knew she it. had the vibrato, she had the we levels. All knew left eye killed it. We, but not saying that she's not bad. I love TLC. I love T. You know what? Groovy but her... a lot because I, because it also remind me of um, Destiny's Child. Yeah, Beyonce could sing, but a lot of her song, a lot of the songs, people question if it's like uh, Kelly singing. And like Beyonce doing like a voice over, because even that check on it song, remember I told you how everybody's confused if that was um, her or Kelly. Uh, Kelly singing, because Slim Thug was saying um, Destiny's Child, mm-hmm. but it's supposed to be a Beyonce song. It's just, I don't know why groups do that. And it's not like T Balls was like, she's very attractive, but not saying she was like the sexiest one, so that wouldn't have been it. You know, I don't know why she was the lead singer. She didn't have such a good voice. I was going to say, because she sung all these songs. I like her Chili's voice. voice was better. Chili had the better voice. Or was it because she was lighter skinned? I, I, I didn't want to say nothing. Hmm. I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't want to say nothing. But my mind was, when you were talking, my mind was kind well, of going there. Well, that guy was lighter than Chili. But she, but was, she was the, the rapper. rapper. I mean, not Chili. Uh, she was the rapper. And yeah. the way they did Left Eye, her being light-skinned was irrelevant. They kept cutting her out. On like when they on play the radio, radio yeah. versions of their songs, they always cut Not left YouTube, eye out because I I watched a couple of them. They do left eye dirty, but and she she's the, the one. And the she rapper. was the rapper. She was rapper, and Chili and T Boss was the singers. But T Boss was made out to be the lead singer, just like in Destiny's Child, Beyonce was made out to be the lead singer, mm-hmm. even though her and Kelly were both doing the lead vocals. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's what your point was, yeah. right? Yeah. You you want you was waiting for Ray J though. Is there anything you want to? You know what's funny is okay. Never mind. I'll, I'll say I'm it. I'm not gonna say it. Especially if it's is it about me? No. Oh, it's, it's tied into it. the bangles. Say it. I'll oh. tell you guys separately. Oh, but that's bad. Yeah. That's why I want epiphany. the world. She's to having know. a lot of epiphany. I, I want the world to know. I love in a good. I love when you hit an epiphany. It's the well, best feeling ever. We was talking about. I guess, and you mentioned it, Ray J. But is he even any better? Yeah, because if he gonna get on he there, he's uh, gonna get Ray on Khan there and uh, make me butt. laugh. Heck yeah, he gonna make me laugh. All right, moving along. Oh, shout out to um, Mario though. I ain't gonna lie, I was in the comments on IG <laughs> uh, begging for him to to sing like. Oh, shout out to you, Mario, for finally getting the recognition. Yeah, I've heard. always loved you, Mario. I've always been streaming your music. The one, that person that played, you know, crying out 
uh, like a million times it was me on Spotify. It was me and those uh, in the um, the chat. It's like, sing right up, sing right up. Like, yeah. <laughs> he said, I've been listening. He said, did he say before? He said, yeah. I hear y'all. Y'all think yeah. I ain't going to play it. And you know who's in the, in the chat? That had me dying laughing was the restaurant Wendy's. Oh my god! They had me dying Wendy's, laughing. Wendy's they, they is said everywhere. Like, this was, this was uh, the wildest pre-show I've ever seen, or something. Mm-hmm. Like they just was in it the whole night. It was hilarious. But I don't have anything else to say about that. My that was a, it. Was entertaining. <laughs> uh, I like what to hear more. The comedian to hear more said he said uh, the verses that nobody asked for. He said was it unnecessary? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> but was it irritating? You bet your bottom dollar. <laughs> that was show, right? The way he was running around popping his collar when they, when Bobby V was singing "Pimpin' All Over the World" had me dying laughing. Oh, because that's the jam. Yeah, I'm over there just just getting him. I'm over there just jamming. All right. Um. So <laughs> moving along, there's this. TikToker, um, her name is Alex, and she is known for is it Alex. She is known for saying, for basically interfering in the black community, which is none of her business. Um, so, her name is Keita Rose. She's also a blogger. Um, She's an influencer. Yeah, social media and personality. Shout out to her, so I'm gonna show two clips of her um, video, her videos, but I don't really follow well, a lot I'll, of the story. I'll, I can tell you more about the story because yeah, I have been following the story. Because for me, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of non-black people, I feel like interfere with our community to get recognized. They know they're gonna get a reaction if they're saying something stupid something that's not intelligent, something that's going to be offensive to us, they know that they're going to get noticed. And when we, especially Twitter, if there's something bothering us black people, we'll, we'll, get, it, we'll get our voices heard. We'll use every social media outlet, outlet to we'll express loud, what we feel. Proud. So I think a lot of people do things like that to get a reaction. A lot of people say negative publicity is still good publicity, mm-hmm. but it just shows how ignorant you really are. Go ahead and give your... Well, before you play Kita's videos, what I wanted to say mm-hmm. was the reason why Kita even sat down with this woman is because she went viral for one of the first videos she posted was um, she mentions that she was... Uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin Samuels was her mentor. That was one of the first things that she said. And we all know where this is going since she said that. Then she posed a question. Uh, first question was, um, why are 70% of black women in America single mothers? And then she rephrased the question and said, uh, why are 70% of the black children in America raised by single mothers. And then she posed another question asking, do black women feel protected by black men? So she's asking a lot of just black community only questions. She also asked the question, about what can she do to be accepted? Yeah, she also said, like, how, how can I gain nothing, the trust? How nothing. can I gain the trust? You, you can never gain the, the trust. Community? And, like, it, and then she's doing this with uh, box braids in her hair. And then she gets like kinky twists, uh, you know, Senegal, Senegalese twists. She got Senegal, there are like, twists from But Senegal. what happened when she had a job interview? She took them out. She took them I out. I didn't notice her. Because I've oh. been keeping her updated. Uh, she took them out but when I'm she sure. had a job interview because she said she had a meeting, which goes into the point of what black women be saying when we say, they don't accept us in our natural state. You can walk around in a costume and take them out and be good with your natural hair. We take the Senegalese twists out of our hair. We got afros. Well, and they don't like either. And then that's also how you know that she's doing things for clout. Yeah. Because if that was who you are, you would stay who you are no matter what. Exactly. When I go on a job interview, I have a, if I'm wearing braids I'm or wearing whatever, braids. I'll I'll my I be braids. myself. I want to take down my, my braids or twists for And if, if my me. hair offends you, this is not the job for me. Mm-hmm. Period. Well, let's go but let's go into the videos. I just had to give a because we're not posting her videos. We're just posting Kita's uh, kind of responses to her, and Kita did a great job. Let's, let's go, go ahead. ahead. It's a black woman cook pranks. I know you said that I want a connection, right? Like yeah. I want a connection with black women. That's why I ask black women certain 
questions. Yes. But you must read your comments. So you must see that thousands and thousands of black women are saying that this rhetoric that you use is offensive and you kind of, do you skip over those? Because, I mean, if you oh. want a connection. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So, what? I mean, you read your comments, yes? Like, I check it, like, twice a day. And then, like, whatever is new. But, like, I can't yeah. really, like, it got too much. And I was like, oh, my goodness But TikTok gracious. places, like, the most popular comment, like, up front. So, it'll be right. the first one you see. Yeah. And the yeah, most I'll popular see, like, comments on a lot yeah. of your videos are black yeah. women saying, yeah. this is offensive. Why are you doing this? Why are you saying what you're saying? Like, when you said... Yeah. I'm gonna have a black baby and I'm not gonna stop wearing braids. What did yeah. you mean by that? Like, why did you say that? You can't, I don't really, I can't relate to you. I can't relate to you. Maybe that's the real, like, I can't relate to where, the place you're coming from. I can't relate to it. To me personally or just to black women? No, to, no, you're asking me, you, you're asking me, what do you, what do you mean? What do you say? Like, why are you? Because you make the videos and yeah, you put them out you're there. coming from a defensive place. What do you mean? I didn't say that. Show me that. Baby, I'm gonna have a black baby anyway. Show me that. Doing my braids. I already know I'm gonna have a black baby with them. So, so that's what I meant. So what video? did you mean by that? What I mean is... Just because you give me hate doesn't mean I gotta give you hate back. That's what it means. A lot of what you do and say is disrespectful. To but I, it No, no, no. To... Black, the black community. And the black community tells you every day in your comments and you kind of skip over that. So I said, I'm not going to judge you and I'm not going to be super aggressive. I want to have a conversation because That's maybe exactly I can get, being, I can really understand where you're coming from. But what I think it you is, don't is want to know where I'm coming you from. can't you explain coming why from. you do the things you do. You can't explain them. So you say things like, I don't have to you're being aggressive myself. and you tone police yeah. me. Because you can't yeah. explain why you say things like the majority of black women are single mothers. Why? I didn't say that. I asked. A, I asked. A, I did. What did you ask? I asked why that is. Why the majority of yes. black women are single mothers? Yes. The majority of black women are not single mothers. And, and, and if you wanted to know this, is this yeah. for like a, a report you're working on? Why? Because it's not connection. It's not connection. Yeah, it and let me tell you why it's not connection. Because the connection between an influencer is that of the influencer and the audience. Your audience is screaming to you right now, based yeah. on your ratio, that they do not like what you're saying and what you're doing. And maybe if you explain to them why you do it, but you can't, it, that's clear, maybe they'll understand. Because we're trying to figure it out. What, what it looks like is you're a a white artist yeah. that wants so desperately to make it out here in LA. So she's going to say negative things about the black community because you yeah. know that black outrage is what will get you popularity. Help your story. I mean, well, you, no, this is what you said. You said you morphed Yo, into the people that you you're around. If you want to talk to me though, you can't interrupt me. You can't okay. interrupt me. We don't interrupt each other. That's one I agree. rule. If we do that, I'm out of here. All right. Cool. Talk to me. No, 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 you, you, you were speaking, so go ahead. You said, number one rule, I don't interrupt you because I was interrupting you, so finish your thought. I don't remember my thought now. Okay. It started with me just going on social media when Kevin died, and Kevin was a mentor to me. Kevin Who's Sam Kevin? Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels is, was yeah. a mentor to you. Yeah, I guess, like, he told me stuff like, self-doubt is your kryptonite. Like, he's just, I felt like he, street, like he was streamlining, like, a message. He didn't give any message to me personally because I didn't watch a lot of his videos. Um, Neither did I. Yeah. I feel like he was motivational. He gave me like a tough, like a, like a tougher role like that, you know, kind of like what a father like is. What? I reached out to him on Instagram after watching oh. some of his content. I didn't watch a lot of his videos. Um, Neither did I. Yeah. I, I, okay. And I said, hey, I believe in mentoring. Can you give me an hour? And then I paid him for the hour. Oh, and how much I did you pay him? him? It was, I don't know, maybe like a thousand dollars. A thousand an hour? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I paid. <think. laughs> All right. <laughs> she, I didn't even watch those clips, but she literally said everything I said. To say. Like, people do things to get a rise out of people. That ain't her. She doesn't want to cause drama to get pop popular. Your thoughts, Mom? Now, is he her mentor or not? 
did now she follow him he can't or be not? A mentor but I'm just saying, please. all them lies she told right in a row, yeah. back to back. Uh, I don't, I'm, he's a mentor to me. Oh, I don't watch his videos. <laughs> well, neither do I. Okay, now which one is it? She's confusing me. Okay, I want to say this. I think, first of all, Keita Rose did an excellent job. She did. She kept her composure. She asked the right questions. She said the right thing. She said everything that us as black women be wanting to say. And I feel like this is a good example. The reason why I wanted to talk about this is because this this topic I wanted to talk about because I have been following this for the last couple of days. And there are a lot of people and and because I'm a strong advocate for, you know, date who you love, you know, I, I don't believe in only being with one race. I don't believe in that. I think people should be with who they want to be with. But this is a good example of why when white women get with black dudes, they feel like black, they, they be making up in their heads that black women have a problem with them. That's literally all her TikTok was because black outrage does sell, especially black outrage from black women. And the reason why K Kita did this was to say, hey, look, they have no substance. Look, see how she couldn't answer any question. See how she deflected and then how she immediately went to calling her aggressive and, and being the, the, all she did was tell her what she said and ask her what she meant. And that all of a sudden turned to her being this aggressive, angry black woman. Because she couldn't the answer. Because she couldn't answer. And that's exactly what we be talking about when we say the reason why we don't like deal with other people, the reason why we just associate with ourselves. We don't even be fucking with people that be in interracial relationships. Y'all be making that up in your head. And then if, where I get confused, okay, the white women think that we jealous of them. But she even the, made a video saying but, that we were jealous. But if they dating the black man. Obviously, that's one black man that we don't want. And then you know why when they date them, they think somebody want them. Yeah. But what's and weird what's about okay, go oh, ahead. I'm sorry. sorry. I was gonna say just real quick. What's crazy about that? Why would we, why would we be jealous when we are literally who you want to be? We are a black woman. Like we can't want to be can't. a black woman. Thank why would you. we be jealous? Well, of you? a good example would be of her taking out the twist for her interview. We can't just take our twist. We are black women. We're going to always be black women. And then, a matter of fact, now that we're on this subject, so in the video she posted about asking black women if we felt uh, supported by black men, there was a black man in her comments that asked her, are you black? And she said, by heart or by color. But if you have a black heart, that's supposed yeah. to be bad. Well, yeah, that means that's, you're dark. That yeah, that means you're evil. Means you're evil. Mm -hmm. So, you... She, she is dumb. Dumb. She, she was she dumb associating all the way that around. with skin color. She but was she associating dumb, that with skin color. But she dumb all the way around. Because how can you be black by heart? That doesn't make any sense at all. She black. evil. Like us as black women, and this is why we, and then there's a white lady that, um, oh God, I wish I had got her name. Because she was in Keita Rose's comments and, you know, I went to her page and she had made a video in response to the conversation between Keita and Alex um, that, she was like, this is exactly why they tell us to stay out of their businesses and this is exactly <laughs> why they don't trust white people. Because the moment you, you're saying, I want to have a conversation, I'm asking these questions and I want to have a conversation, you literally have a black woman in front of you willing to educate you and have that conversation with you and you dismiss her because at the end of the conversation she says she felt it was a waste of her time she and Kita got, got up, up. Kita got was like well I'm not trying to waste your time and immediately uh -huh. got up and she left. She told her thank she you very much. She said thank you very and much and follow her and the girl was still sitting there stunned she because was Kita stunned. was like nope let me just mm -hmm. get out of here because we don't owe you and this is why we say just stay out of it don't even ask us these questions because you don't really want to know you're using that to antagonize us so you can then you can call us a black woman jealous of you and your black man if i dated a white man if i was with the white man and there are plenty of black women with white men have you noticed you never see this happen with black women that are with white men you never hear them asking white women questions about their relationships with white men you never have them saying oh i can wear straight hair better than you even and then people talk about black women wearing uh straight hair and shit like this when you ban our hairstyles was she took the senegalese twist out to go to a meeting and then you're mad at us because we had to assimilate into these societies because you knew but that those uh, braids was considered I unacceptable. I had to say that 
afros ain't the only thing black people wear. Because yeah. back, in, us, back have, have when my mother was hair. coming up, uh, they pressed your yeah. hair. If but, your hair but was, but still, it's that was we the wore fact straight that they hair. Even, but the fact that they even had to wear straight hair was because afro hair was discriminated. No, they wanted to. <laughs> They wanted to wear they I'm hair. sure they probably wanted to in the end. But in the end, because there were tangent laws. We had to cover our hair. We could, after, know, there were I still little kids. to wear uh, wigs and weaves and all that. It, but it shouldn't matter. Like, and, and her even wearing the braids isn't even a big deal. She can wear her hair however she wants to wear it. But leave black women alone. Like, leave us alone. We literally be minding our own business, and people do shit like this for clout. Why are y'all using us for clout? If you want to be with a black man, a white man, an Arab man, whoever the hell you with, keep that over there and leave the women of those communities out of it because we have nothing to do with it. What does black women have to do with her and her black boyfriend? What? Nothing. We're not even involved. Cause we in would that. be calling him an Oreo cookie anyway. Well, she like she made a video saying that we were jealous. Inside. She made a video saying that we were jealous that she he was with her. No, I'm like, we don't even know this dude. We, didn't want him like, we, we don't even know this dude. Who the hell are you talking about? Just just because you're with a black guy doesn't mean this black women care. This gets so boring to me, though. I'm starting to pick at my shirt, and that's sad. Trying to pick length off of my shirt. I get tired of talking about black men and what they say. We don't care. We don't really care. If they don't want us, don't date us. It's, it's, not, I say, it's nothing to get but, but, upset about. Well, I'm not saying that. The only reason I thought Keita brought up a good point by having this interview with this girl. She did. And I thought that it was a, like an epiphany, like you said, you've had multiple epiphanies. I was like, it's an epiphany for me. Like, yeah, if black women literally just ignore it, then it'll go away. They'll leave us alone. Like, cause we're not like nobody went to her page randomly and just started attacking her because she was with a black dude. She literally posed questions to black women, offensive questions at that. And then was, Oh, see how angry they are. See how they are. That's what it is. I thought Keita did a great job. She did. And I just wanted to commend Keita and give her some clout because Keita Rose, Keita Rose on TikTok, Keita Rose on Facebook. That's how y'all can find her. She's very intelligent. She she's like me. She talks out, and I, I related. I related to her. She said, "I can't relate to I you." I don't feel like she was <laughs> she talking. She said, "I loud. can't relate." To, I can relate to Keita, but and I thank don't you, feel Kita. like she were, was really talking loud. She was talking so she With could be heard. Yeah, and so the lady could hear. The lady should have spoke up some, but she, <laughs> she was too busy. I think she say. was too high. I don't she think smoking. she had anything to say. I think she was too high because and she didn't girl, know what to say. She didn't know what she was saying when she was on the TikTok. And no, when the didn't. black girl got in her face, she really didn't know what yeah. to say. And one thing I do want to say is there are, I know a few Caucasian women who um, date black men who do a really, really, really good job of supporting the black community without really interfering like our aunt Jeanette. We oh, love her to she, death. Yeah, and when she I see ain't, her, she ain't white. And as people, yeah, but that's, 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 see, that's what she but feels. Listen, though. And as people say, but she's never tried to be black. She's yeah, always that's just what been. I'm saying, she's like, just aunt Jeanette. That's what I'm she's saying. just aunt Jeanette. People who be like, um, you know, that people say this is an ignorant statement. You don't see color, but I really don't see color when I interact and kid, you know hang with my aunt Jeanette. Mm -hmm. So there are good. White women that are in black. So families. we're not bashing at uh, all. Because I like I said, we're not generalizing yeah. uh, white women who date black men. Yeah, we're just, just saying those, stop doing this. Those who target black women, women please leave so us alone. That's just what we're saying. Because again, there are a lot of good Caucasian women raising black children, biracial children. No, black children, biracial children. I was referring to... Well, Aunt Jeanette is raising black children. And then we know someone else who's helping raise our brother's daughter. Right, Oh, right. yeah. So that's what I was saying, you know. You, it, like, but, they, they, like, there are a lot of white moms to fully black yes, children. Yes. There are. So, But that one is raising your brother's daughter. I don't know about... She's probably nice, but... I don't know. But she's probably nice... But what I'm saying is we need...
to be around her more. They, she they seems drop very her. sweet. She's nice, but we need to spend she, more time. The, we only, oh, I only met her God. once. I only met her once at the zoo. She's, she's nice. very sweet. Mm -hmm. but I'm she's just very saying, we sweet. need to spend more time with Tati. It's cool that she's like she is, but she's, we she's need to very spend sweet, more Mom. time she, with her. Yeah. You would like her. She's so very sweet. Kudos to, to you. I think she cares a lot for Tati and just wants the yeah. best for Tati. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say Tati's auntie that's taking care of her is doing a great job. Yeah. She's she she was very very sweet. Yes. All right. Um, so thank you to all those who helped us without judging or critiquing or trying. And thank to you, Auntie food. Jeanette, for being a, a positive figure. Like I didn't even care about her. She was such a good person that I didn't even think about her skin color. I just knew her as my auntie. Mm. I didn't think about her skin color, and that's how it should be. When you bring these things up, when you talk about the negatives in the black community, but you're use, using it to gain clout, or if you're trying to make it seem like black women are jealous of you because you date black men, that's where the problem lies, because we don't give a fuck, I promise you. The majority of black women do not give a fuck. And uh, moving along, so <laughs> staying on the topic of race, so there's a 16-year-old um, black teen who was driving in a predominantly white neighborhood, going to see his friend, and these people who should know better, they, they're elders, you know, they're up there in age, start harassing him and destroying his vehicle. Uh, let's go ahead and play that clip, it's the last one. Right here, hey, buddy, up. right here, tell him what you were doing. Cindy, Burning out racing through my fucking neighborhood. Burning out racing through my fucking neighborhood. I told you not to. Get out of my face. I'm not in your face. Get out of my neighborhood, fuckwad. Who got a gun? Who got the gun? The guy who's got a permit to carry it. You got a gun? You're the one that would get a gun. All right. All right. Get out of this neighborhood. All right. Get out of this neighborhood. You don't belong here. But y'all want to smash the fucking window? Smash the window? Yeah, he did. All right. And I um, I did send the young man a message when this incident happened on Instagram and tell him that, you know, I'm sorry he had to experience that, but I'm proud of the way he handled himself. He did a smart thing by taking his phone out and start recording them. Um, he wasn't being aggressive or anything, but imagine being just 16 mm -hmm. years old. He's a child. This is the same area where Trayvon Martin was got killed. killed. See, that's the kind of stuff that make me angry. That's the kind of stuff that makes me angry. It's the ones that think they're privileged over us. And this is and he have a right. I don't care. It's not really their neighborhood because the sidewalk belongs to the the public. city. Whatever public city, whatever he have a right to walk wherever the heck he want to. I don't care if no black people don't live in your neighborhood. That don't mean they can't walk through the neighborhood. Or that's you the know, kind this, of stuff this, that like, makes me angry. Well, though. just like we were just talking about, what if these white people have black family members that are coming to visit them. You can't assume just because all of the people in your neighborhood are white that they don't have black friends and family that are going to come visit them. Well, that neighborhood, obviously, Because he was the one that was a friend. Yeah. But I bet you the friend was white. Of course. That, but that's I'm saying. saying, I'm saying, I bet I bet you they don't see too many black people come through their neighborhood. That may but be the they don't okay. have a right. This is the kind of stuff that make me angry. They don't have a right to think that he can't be in that neighborhood, even if he wasn't going to visit nobody. He can drive and walk down any street in America. That's what that, that's what makes me angry. You want to know what's funny about that? Isn't it weird how there's a stigma on black neighborhoods, how nobody wants to come in black neighborhoods, but anytime a white person comes in a black neighborhood, we're not doing this kind of stuff. We're not harassing them. or You never see videos of a white person going into a black neighborhood and being killed, mauled, or anything like that. It's always in reverse, but yet our neighborhoods are the ones to assume to be dangerous. Isn't that ironic? I agree. Because I, and I've, and how many times has it been, we just, like, when we used to hang outside all the time, when we lived even in North Omaha, which was a black area, we saw anybody, anybody walk Amen. by, we're nice, we speak, we say hello. Yep, and I agree with you 100%, and what's crazy is our neighborhoods can be detrimental and dangerous for us. Us. 
but not to anybody. Because we're nice our, to outsiders. Our, and that's crazy to me. It's true. Like, we wouldn't harass someone like you were saying, just driving through our neighborhood who wasn't of our skin color. Or if we but saw we somebody white was lost and they came. And, yeah, like, yeah. That's crazy that's to That's true. Me. That's crazy. And, and Matt, how many times, there's been plenty of times where there'd be somebody maybe white in a neighborhood and like, hey, I'm looking for this street. If you're out about, and you try to help them. You, you literally will try to help them. Mm-hmm. You're not, what are you doing in this neighborhood? We don't like your... Con- We've never done that as a community, ever. We've never done that. I ain't but we'll trying do it to, to each other. We'll do it to each other before we do it to But else. you know yeah, why? We true. don't do that to them because we know damn well we don't own nothing. But not even a house that we buy. I think even we own stuff, but we listen. wouldn't do that. We probably wouldn't, but, but I'm just listen. saying, they think they can walk anywhere. You know, but they listen, know that's, ain't that's nothing going to happen to them. That's, what's, that's what I'm saying. And that, But we do do it with each other. Like, I was just saying, the bloods do it with the Crips. Crips, the Crips mm-hmm. with the blood. What sets you from? That's what yeah. the, we, When black people come we in the neighborhood, what ourselves. sets you from? White person like, are you ourselves. lost? You need directions? I can help you. That's what we do. That's crazy. It's us against us and everybody else in your space. It's the fact, and that's that what that white girl that that white girl was doing. She knew that, and that's why she had posted those controversial things. Because I feel like people get off of the turmoil of black men and black women hating each other. Because black men and they women really do. do hate each other. Mm-hmm. Black do. men hate black well, men. Well, <laughs> well, but there's a lot. Well, I feel like there's been a shift where because it used to be because black women worship black men. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do. Most, a lot a lot of us do. I don't worship a lot of no us, man. A lot of us do. I may a lot like of us them, do. but I don't worship But I feel them. like in the recent, like, last 10 years, there has been a shift where we just don't like each the other. The shift is social media. Yeah, that's true. That's literally because Because a lot of stuff is, wouldn't is be said yeah. Yeah. if well, they didn't like, have it. They said it in your first. That's in, true. In, in, in front of you, they don't say that. And either. if that boy probably wouldn't have pulled out his camera, they would have did worse to up. him. Like, yeah. oh, he was doing this mm-hmm. thing, you know. They would have did worse like, He tried to, like, cause, and, 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 and you know what's so funny about that video is that the woman said, like, he literally said he's got a gun because he's got a permit to carry. But she said, you're the one that has the gun, like, if he has the right to carry a gun, wouldn't that mean he has the right to carry a gun too? Why are you saying you're the one more than likely to have a gun while also toting that somebody you're with has a gun? Like, make that's that make why, sense. That's why I feel that we need to carry. They always got oh, something. Oh, absolutely. And, and if you carry. don't got your phone and you don't have a gun. You should carry a phone and a gun. Right. Get your I, guns I, out. Get your guns out. Yeah, like the way to say that after. Yeah, but, oh, yeah. Yeah. but we, <laughs> no, we don't no, mean no. to harm nobody. We just need it protection. for our own When we protection. say for protection, we really mean protection. Don't I'm not, go around I'm not shooting to, up nobody. Hey, if I get mad at you, the worst I'm going to do to you is cut you off. Right. You ain't going to have no access But if you to try me. to... Put your hands on me, cause yeah, I'm Yeah, but if you try, if you try to threaten me or try to harm bang, me, bang, that's when the bang bang, bang goes bang, off. Bang. I would never just harm mm-hmm. anybody for no reason. I would, no matter how mad I get, I would never harm anybody for no reason. You literally have to threaten me with physical violence before I would want to kill you. Well, all you gotta do is say something to me, and I I would want to fight she's, you. I won't kill you, but she's I not sure gonna, would want to attack. She likes to throw hands. She comes from a different. I area. would love to attack. She likes, but to I fight. can't do that no more. She's from a different area, y'all. I'm sorry. Hey, back in the day, that's all you had to do was but fight. I, but Earth like, what, like on Friday, yes, when, yes, I liked it when that came day, out. The people would walk up to each other like they were about to fight. But remember then also, break out, break down. when it popped, say on Friday, that. he said, back in the day, you win some, you, you lose, lose some. Yep, and that's it was true. the end of it. Mm-hmm. But now people just want to kill each other. Mm-hmm. It's weird. And then the thing about that, at least if you fight the person, you might. End up making up with that person. Afterwards, like, y'all get it out. Just, every it fight I ever friends. got into, that you know what's funny is every fight, physical fist you fight that I got know. into, we did. We shook hands at the end, and it was over, and we didn't but have no. But once you no kill more. somebody, you can't make that up. Yeah, you can't. You can't bring a life back. Mm-mm. That's true. But I just feel like it's so many different parts of society. Like I'm always sitting up here talking about black and white, and how I don't like white people. They don't bother me, but that. Want that last clip that you showed them the kind that I hate. You know, I, I don't have a problem with white people, but I hate a, I have a problem with racist white people. I'm you already, you yeah, I mean, because yeah, you, yeah, I'm glad because you, you already got everything. What the fuck you need to be racist for and do us worse than, you know, we've already been done. 
I don't have a problem with you know white what people. that you that brings up another good point because uh, the whole Roe v. Wade thing, Roe v. Wade was just overturned by the Supreme Court, which basically it doesn't it bans uh, the support of abortion for all states, but really it leaves it open to states to make their own mm-hmm. decisions, and most states are against abortion so it makes it easier for states to make stricter laws on abortion like right that's, now see that's something Nebraska, that really ain't nobody's business but exactly the parent the, or the woman because yeah regardless of race even though black women are like 30 times more likely to die from uh maternal complications that's why they don't want you to have a uh, that's the why you can't have but, no abortion. But, they think you're gonna die on but, the labor um, table. There's a guy I follow on TikTok who made a good uh, observation about the topic. He said he, he he addressed it to white women. He said, "White women, this is about y'all because they want to regulate y'all from being able uh, to stop not have babies because of the birth rate drops." But they're both granted the birth rate drops in all communities have dropped for every race, uh, but it, the white men in power, older white men in power, f- see a shift in the browning of America, which was always a fear from the beginning of America, the browning of America. See, that's what makes America. me go get to snapping. Because a lot of white people are mixing with people of color, whether it be Mexican, black, whatever. A lot There is a lot of race mixing going on, so they, in order to counter-argue the browning of America, let's stop women from being able to prevent themselves from having babies. That doesn't make sense, though. Because if you don't want that. America to be browning, then you will let them have abortions. Because they, of rape, force. If if some if a woman is raped, have have you still would have to have the baby. Like there is part of saying that was not going to stop from America from turning no, it, around. No, it's not going to stop America from it's, turning it's gonna get around. <laughs> but but it makes it easy for white men that want to take from a white woman without there being consequences. Like, there are already cases in the system of teens, like 13, 14, 15 year old white girls, raped by older white men, Mm. having babies, and they give these men uh, custodial rights, Mm. where she has to let him, the child visit, the the man that raped her. They have, these laws are in place for this reason. Mm. And this is a great injustice to white women. Not to just every woman, but to white women in particular, because they're forcing y'all to have their babies. That that would literally give the okay for a rapist to get a woman pregnant and then stake claim on that child. Mm. That's what this does. Instead of him going to jail. Instead of him going to jail for assaulting a minor. Well, he could probably still go I'm to jail for assaulting a minor. He could probably no, no. He could probably still I'm go to jail. No, right. but, the fact, but, but the fact, but the fact of the matter is, you're still oh. victimizing her by even though he went to jail for raping her, she had his baby and now has to co-parent with him. Not really, because that's when adoption can come in. Because, but son, you know, because how recently came. I said it's a lot that's of true. people that cannot give birth to kids that, that would be true. great mothers. If if you feel like, which I don't agree with them telling me what I can do with my body, There's but since, yeah, since it's so many people that can't naturally give birth, give them babies up for adoption and maybe they can find some good homes. When there's a, when there's a will, there's a way. But granted, I'll, I'll give y'all that, but at the same time, there's already millions of children already in the system that have not been adopted, have not been fostered. And when they do, sometimes they end up in even more abusive homes. So that's not really a good solution because there are already millions of children in the system that nobody is picking up and taking not care of. I'm not saying that that's the only it's not, I'm not saying We're it's saying the only solution, but a good ways. example would be there was a girl, remember I talked to you about uh, what happened to her, because uh, when we talked about a, a few shows ago, we talked about the Kevin Samuels video of him telling the woman not to believe her child that she was sexually assaulted. So there was a counter response to that. There was a woman that follows him that said, yeah, it's true. My daughter slept with my husband and had a baby with him and I forgave them. You know how old her daughter was when she had this man's baby? She was 13 years old. 
and she said when she and this was her stepfather. Her that stepfather got mad. her stepfather got with her mom. And since she was seven years old, had been trying to, and she had told the mom when she was seven years old, he tried to touch me. He tried to do this and this and that to me. And the mom was like, first she said the mom kicked him out for like a week and then let him come back like a week later. And then he went back to the same old shit. So she's dealing with this man for years. And by the time she was 13, he was raping her and got her pregnant. And she kept that baby. She kept the child. And she's like, um, I love my child. My child saved me. I was going to say, a yeah, lot of people feel that they, way. They have probably. attachment to those so, children, even though they were raped. So at the time but then the mom option. was mad at, at her. The mom was mad said at her. She tried to take her husband. Tried to take her husband. The mom that's the kind of stuff illness. I don't, yeah. That's the kind of stuff But shit really like that happening. Angry. Like, the, even though the little girl loved her baby, she okay, still hated she her Okay, then she her baby. But she still hated but her But then rapist. she knowing he's a rapist. That rapist don't have to see your baby. Ain't no but way on laws, earth they gonna make. They are, though. Listen, that's what they're doing. They doing that. But listen, okay, because I don't people, believe that. Pe- they do. Because they make you stay away from do, kids. I was going to say, they consider that. people as pedophiles and go on a registry to where you can't be around Well, people. he got arrested, but, but they're going to give him she, rights as a father But to not that if child. she fight, Nisi, because if he was doing that to her, he might just do that to the or have baby. Super, what is it, supervised visitation? Yeah, something, but they, they she don't have There's to let him see that. Yeah. Play, but he shouldn't even have supervised visitation. He violated that girl. For years, and her mom did nothing but that's, to protect her, that's, and then that's blamed her. Really, for a it. sad story when a parent and then blamed will switch her on it. you for trying to be honest. That that's sad. A, a thirteen-year-old having a baby is not somebody that's to seduce somebody. That is a grown man taking and advantage of a child. And she should have known it was something weird about that. And for her to even say that on public platform, and she said it proudly, and then she's one of the people that touts the Bible all the time. Oh. That's what make me mad, y'all. Excuse me, but I'm going to say this. Just because they have a Bible in their hand and can read it from front to back don't mean they're a godly person. Because God is all about love, forgiveness. Even I can't forgive, you know, a lot of times. But he's all about love. So if they telling you anything, I wouldn't care how many Bibles. You can have your house filled with Bibles. If you look evil and you talk evil, you evil. It doesn't matter. And then they try to blame God because a lot of people carry these Bibles, but but they misquote scripture. Mean, they, yeah, they, you they, know what? They use scripture to, uh, to their around, own and that's personal what Satan game. Does. They don't pay attention to all of it. They use the Bible one says thing, that's what Satan and, does. And they try though. to and, and, and forget everything else in the Bible. They use one little thing to justify their hatred for somebody else. It's weird. Just because you got a Bible don't mean you godly, though. That's true. Anything else on that topic? I, I, I wish women well. And, I you know, it's, it's sad. I don't understand. I just want, one thing I will say is this. I cannot for the life of me understand men telling women why they need to have, like, if they get pregnant, that they just need to deal with it. You realize this literally affects our life. We could die having a baby. We could die. You know, another thing that this Roe v. Wade also does, women that have miscarriages, women that have, uh, you know, babies that have defects, like where their brains are being uh, developed outside of their bodies, where the baby's going to die once it's born anyway. And then when they have these things, there's drugs that they have to take. You, you're risking the lives of these women. You're risking the lives. It's not just about... It's not just about what you consider life. And and if people were so pro-life, why is it that we got every excuse in the world for why these kids get killed in schools? If it's really about life, why don't we have free prenatal care? Why don't we have free formula? Why don't we have free uh, child care? Yeah, it's more like, than America if, if it's could about do if life, they really was thinking about, about life, life instead of trying to tell you life, what to do with your body. Why is it? That when this child is born, you don't give a fuck about them. That's what about that's life. what's messed up. That's what I don't. You don't care if they survive. Trillions and billions to other fucking for, for wars. <laughs> what, my, what Tupac say? You got money for war, but can't feed. Y'all the better war. listen to us. Keep, shirt on. You better listen to us. Keep your <laughs> head up. Talks sense. about everything that's going on now, including the race of men 
that hates the women that has the babies, keep your head up talking about all of it. All of it. Man, I miss Pac. Man, I miss Pac. I miss Pac, too. I miss Pac. But you mom. know the sad thing? I I hate to say this. I never got to know him. I wish I could have. <laughs> I don't miss him because every day you I can. Feel, you can hear him. He even tell you on his way, Adrian, picture me rolling. Yeah. If you picture him rolling, girl, I pictures him rolling. <laughs> girl, I pictures him rolling. Yeah. All Shout right. out to Tupac. Tupac Shakur. <laughs> All right. Okay, moving along. So, um, Caesar mm. from Black Ink Crew. Um, there's nothing about that. <laughs> Caesar from Black Ink Crew. He's older, concentrating. Like, which one is? Uh, <laughs> shout out to our, um, our uh, yeah, Elijah Johnson <laughs> and um, hair and producer, makeup. editor, hair, and hair and makeup, hair and makeup, Maya. our producer and editor, Elijah Johnson, <laughs> and makeup girl, hair and makeup, Josiah Tunche. Um, <laughs> so is it Donna, I don't know why we want to call Donna. her Donda, Donna. From Black Ink Crew released a video of Caesar picking up a metal chair and like hitting his dog with it. Of course, it went viral. Everybody seen it, and he had it, everybody in the uproar because it's animal abuse. Um, his attorney said it was two years ago, kind of when the pandemic first happened. I'm like, that doesn't fucking matter. He still is abusing an animal. Like, how's being on lockdown make you want to hit a dog with a chair? Mm -hmm. That's not because he really wanted to hit a woman, but one wasn't there. No, I'm just joking. Hit his car. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I thought you liked Caesar. I do, but hey, just because I like you don't mean I'm gonna talk shit about you. I talk <laughs> shit about everybody. And then we were her children. We know that for sure. Um, <laughs> so he has been released on his contract with VH1, and he will not continue filming Black Ink Crew. But I'm pretty sure the show's still gonna go on because yeah, it's gonna go uh, on. He shared. He did. He give. Um, what you mean? Like they got. How can it go on? Black Ink, them is his business. Well, they got Black Ink Compton. And he, I'm wondering. And he, no, I wonder how All his show go, would go on yeah. if they his business. They're gonna continue doing Black Ink. They'll, they'll just go to. Oh, black, I know they just go to Black have, uh, Yeah, I know artists. they have yeah. other ones. But I was just wondering. But I was gonna say, isn't but VH1 it? is really doing the. They let and black uh, people go uh, left and right. T.I. show ain't coming back. But uh, he's on the Isn't company. Isn't uh, uh, Kyla, Kyla Perry, her, her husband on one of them? He's on the company. company. But he, he has his own tattoo shop. Yeah, he does. That's right. I'm like, so yeah. it would be like a, it but could be a But that one guy is his him. partner now, the one that dropped the chicken on the floor. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. they could do it under Puma. Yeah, Puma. Puma. So that's his I partner. He just And didn't the other girl come back too? Who was Puma's best friend, the black girl, the gay one? Sassy. Sassy. I, I like sassy. I, I like I'm sassy. Like, Sassy's really cool. In a long time. I haven't seen it in a while either. But sometimes your actions have consequences. Some people get away with more, you know, and don't get canceled. I want to say something about this, though, because I couldn't help but think That's this That's the Nick Cannon. Released him on his contract and bring him back. Remember when yeah, he made that when he made that anti-Semite yeah. and anti semite comment anyways uh so what i find very odd about this whole like and it's so funny it wasn't last week we were talking about how the same police department that rescued a dog from a lake wouldn't rescue a human being from a, from the lake uh caesar was hitting that dog apparently just from the one little image they go seen. crazy over them dogs don't they, they? They do, because, well and i love animals too I animals too. i feel like animals are like children they're because vulnerable. they're, they're mm -hmm. very vulnerable like they can't speak to you they can't like just like a baby you can, they can't speak to you but you have to know when they're in danger you have to help them like i feel like that way about animals but i do find it odd that Caesar could beat a dog with a chair, but you don't feel the same outrage when you see a person beating another person with a chair. We was watching that uh, Bad Boys, the way that dude kept coming back, pulled out all and of then, his dude's hair, beat him up fight, for the chair. Puma and them, they jumped up. Puma and his girlfriend, Caesar and them, did. Yeah, on and that, that he years lose. ago. Yeah, and they showed it. Yeah, I remember, I remember that That episode. is true. I remember that. That is true. 
Because Caesar and, and him they fight. put him and his girlfriend, and his girlfriend in like a bar, like a couple buildings yeah. down, and, and then, then uh, an interview with her. Yeah, and him. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. Shutter, but you cannot fight an animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, and it's okay for humans to just but, attack humans, and everybody stand around and watch. Right. Well, let something happen to an animal, and everybody's yeah. in the here's outrage. The Hell, even children. Here's the thing, though. I have two different, two different thoughts. One again, with a person fighting a person. We're able to defend ourselves more so, you know, like what we were saying. Them earlier. dogs will bite your ass. But you also say not always. But what we were saying earlier, dogs like how, can kill. Dogs have killed people. Yeah, but we, we were just saying a few seconds ago how they're vulnerable and they're like children. She was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> now they can kill people because I know they can kill people. So, but that's what I. Was. <laughs> but I said that in regards to your point about black uh, or not black people, people being able to defend ourselves. Yeah, but there are saying, vicious like, animals but that. That's what I'm saying. Like when we're can, fighting each how, other. We're this is. Saying, I ain't trying to be funny. I do like but, Caesar and I do like dogs. But finish your thought um, first. But they they're quick to react when a black person do something that they consider wrong. But they're not trying to ban guns or have gun control. When people are going yeah. places just shooting up innocent people. That to me is ridiculous. I mm. totally and again, agree. I understand like VH1 is a, a entertainment company. Mm. They're not lawmakers. Mm -hmm. But I just think like it's weird. That it's, is it's very weird. strange. If and I want to say this. I want everything. to say this on Caesar's behalf. To be honest. Was it a video or a picture? Because how do you know that picture. he didn't it was a pick video. up? It was a video I, I was, initially. How y'all know the dog wasn't attacking him and he grabbed the chair? Because, um, I don't think anybody really, or the shade room just had him, like, coming outside, grabbing a chair, and then hitting the dog. But it cuts, like, before he See, they don't know what could have happened. But he came out of his house. If the dog was outside. Maybe the dog was coming to attack. He could have stayed in his house. But it's safe. his house. No, the dog, the dog could have been just wandering in the area. Yeah, like if the dog oh. was outside, he came out of his house. Like, like, like you, you know, that's because her and Elijah be waiting <laughs> for animals and people to come to the yard. Who is that in the yard? I and, and you know what me. though? Uh, not even dogs, but like other animals. We are building houses and all all this taking stuff over on their, their homes. It, it, we're imposing on their habitat. Turkey's saying that because I see more raccoons, possums, and rabbits and shit. Running around, they're God's creatures. I'd be too. like, they are, but I'm scared and a lot of, of them. A lot of animals that attack, it's because they're scared. They yeah, don't know the because I'm scared, scared of them. Yeah. Like these humans are destroying everything, and I don't know how to trust you. Well, like, I'm scared of you. I, I agree. Like how you told me about the story with the elephant. Yes, oh, yeah. the elephant story. Oh my God, yeah. there was a. Oh, we should talk. <laughs> there but was the an elephant. Like that, like how the lady was. Yes, uh, killing the elephants. Well, yeah, throwing, rocks, doing, throwing rocks, and so poachers, in, okay, so an elephant they're trampled this 60-year-old woman. This was in, like, a rural, like, a, I think it was, I don't know if it was India, but it was one a foreign country where they, he, this elephant trampled this woman to death, and then at her funeral <laughs> came back and trampled her again, and then after trampling her after death, Got a bunch of other elephants, went back and trampled her house and killed all of her goats. <laughs> like, th this elephant had a vendetta against this woman. And there's this saying that elephants don't forget and elephants have whole grudges. And I think ele elephants are very highly intelligent mm -hmm. because there was also a video I saw of elephants where this girl was clearly on vacation. This black girl, she's taking pictures of the elephants. It's like a family of elephants, like a mom, dad, like a teen elephant, and then a baby elephant. The baby elephant, like, attacked. This woman was, like, trying to play with her. You can tell he's just trying to play with her. But the elephants are heavy. And the teen, like, elephant came and got her, got the elephant off her, like, boy, stop playing. Like, get off of her. Because she, like, pulled off her dress. She's, like, on the floor rolling around. But they didn't try to harm her. Because they knew she wasn't there to harm them. I feel like elephants are very intelligent. I saw an elephant that was at a zoo that saw a paper cup on the ground, picked the paper cup up, and put, put it in, in the trash, trash can. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, elephants are very intelligent. And the word on the street is that this woman, because she's in an area where there's a lot of poachers, and they like to kidnap and kill elephants for their tusks. Um, so... She was apparently throwing rocks at this elephant, and her this elephant's baby got stolen by poachers. Mm. And 
the woman, the elephant never forgot and got the sense of the woman, found her, killed her. And then, because I also hear that uh, in this tradition of funeral style that they also burn them, like they cremate them, and that the elephant got her smell from the smoke of the cremation oh. and came and trampled her body. <laughs> mm. That's what I heard. You said that's, that's that burning that, you wasn't that, good that enough. Woman. I got the yeah, smell I'm sorry, that is hilarious. It's, 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 you want to laugh? It's a sad She story. shouldn't have did Topical, that, though. She got exactly what she deserved. Because she shouldn't have did that. But I also feel, though, because I also saw a post from somebody from the area that, you know, these people are kind of trapped in this, like, because they, they have to cohabitate in the wild with animals like elephants and stuff. And poachers will, like, hey, we'll pay you this and this and that. And stuff. Like, they're, they're just trying to survive. I bet you accept that money. Because I heard that her home wasn't the only one that's trampled, that this elephant, they went through a few homes, but they got her home first. And then they went and destroyed other villages, and they killed all her goats. But do you know what that's? <laughs> Elephants, everybody's fighting back, y'all. Even the animals. They tired of the bull crap. Everybody's <laughs> fighting back. The funniest picture was the meme of the elephant sitting with Oprah, and she said, so you went to her funeral, why? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got one more story. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, but like the death of Dante Perez Jones has been very questionable. So, cops are saying that he hung himself Mm-mm. at a par- in a park. His mom is saying there's no way that he killed himself. He in the park. Yeah, I think it happened on the night of June 16th. He had just visited his mom, left. He wasn't showing any signs that he was, you know, like depressed or anything. He was, you know, wanting to commit suicide. Um, so she thinks it's foul play. Of it was course. from a tree. Yep. Of course okay. it's foul play. And then the mom wanted to see um, the report from the coroner. They denied it. She wanted to see her son. They denied her. So she's requesting another autopsy. And they're like, well, the case is closed out. It was suicide. Do, do, do. So she's fighting to get uh, another autopsy done. Well, uh, I'm so angry. I'm sorry. About that. I have a lot to say about this because this has actually been a common thing going on. If you just search suicides by hanging, you will see within the last like 20 years, there really have been suspicious. a lot of black men and women supposedly committing suicide, hanging themselves from trees. Uh uh-uh, uh, because why would you go hang yourself from a tree? That's if I, I want to kill myself, myself well, okay, I'm going to so kill myself at home, I'm which gonna, I won't never do I, it, I but if I want this. to, I would not go out to no goddamn park. And I, I don't need is, a tree to hang this myself. This is why I say this right That's here. Some is, I feel white like people. this is gaslighting because us as black people, we. Whether y'all want to believe, I know not all black people are alike or anything like that, but I can tell you the last way we're going to commit suicide is by hanging ourselves from a tree. That's the last. Like, that's that's not even an idea. From, you might mm-hmm. find us shooting ourselves. We might fucking hang ourselves in the fucking house mm-hmm. from, like, something like that. Or, like, but you will never see a black person commit suicide by hanging themselves from a tree. Now, that is an old that? that is an old white history that tradition. That would be the last way of, I would that's think called that lynching. Of, yeah. And that's lynching. That mm-hmm. is a lynch. That is not somebody committing suicide. Mm-hmm. That is a lynching. Period. Mm-hmm. We would not commit suicide that way. You might see us drown ourselves. You might see us shoot ourselves. You would not Even see take us some pills or you, something. Take drugs, overdose, all of that mm-hmm. other shit. Alcohol poisoning, like, all of that. Hanging outside from us, a tree. You will not see us commit suicide by way of hanging from a tree because mm-hmm. that is lynching. Lynching and that is very deep, deeply painful to us as a community. So that is not a way we're going to take ourselves out. Period. And the fact that the police would cover it up means they know that they know well, that the police did it. Probably. Or probably. somebody of color did it. It definitely wasn't him. He did not. Because if he wanted to hurt way. himself, I've seen he a lot of stories about it, and I know for he a fact they did, did it. How are you committing suicide bound mom. behind your hands? Yeah, that's true. They How did, you commit yeah. suicide? Like there's there was even a story of a guy committing suicide being shot in the back. <laughs> How he shoot himself the in the hell? back? Mm-hmm. It, it, and committing suicide, shot two and three times, or multiple times in the head. He shot himself twice, in, twice in the head. You serious? Mm-hmm. That makes no sense. That's what makes me angry. Cause I know. Look at your shirt that says "That's what makes me angry." Yeah, 
uh, what Mr. Obey a shirt. Oh, yeah. Janice, oh. that's your mark. Turkey. <laughs> Janice, that's what makes me angry. Yeah. I should get that before you go to. And then you better put under it everything. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Janice Jones. Right. If I wasn't Janice Jones, I would want to be Janice Jones. That's I want to be, even though I feel like I was found in a basket at five years old, I still want to be. Yeah. <laughs> so who kept you? I don't know. I don't know. And I, I mean, you said like yeah, two I, I, weeks. Everything was a blur. I don't everything know. was a blur Everything's beforehand. a blur. I don't know how old I was. All I know is I didn't feel like I belonged in that family. Two, not even two weeks or a week. I said five, five. but never, <laughs> I never said that before. Even my older sisters, Lavi and Teresa, say I just always said I was found in a basket. I never said my age, <laughs> but obviously like, I was five. <laughs> obviously I was five and came to me. All right, uh, I don't have anything else. <laughs> it was a good conversation, y'all. No, we have. All right, well, thank you all for tuning in. We're going to have um, a special guest next. Saturday, July 2nd. So make sure you guys tune in. I'm tagging everybody and their mamas in that one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us.